Hey friends, Thrifty Green 2020 here with your just a couple hours until election day. We're two days until the election, 80 until inauguration. I am here for you. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. If you're new to this medium, I don't know if you're watching on Facebook, I don't really know how all of this works. I'm 40 years old. My point being, I know how the election works, I know how all this stuff works, and I want to give you a much needed pep talk. And I know what you're gonna say. You're gonna say, I don't know dog, I just need to like sit in the corner and like eat my fingernails and you know, look at Hoda's, you know, Halloween costume, whatever. <sighs> it's not gonna help. Doom scrolling is not gonna help. Following any kind of negativity right now is not going to help. Here's what's gonna happen, I'm gonna tell you right now. I'm gonna count you down from the moment the polls close. We're gonna start there. The moments the polls close, you're gonna breathe a sigh of relief, okay? Our job is done. Our job, this job, this specific job is done. It's going to be done very soon. This is a temporal world, horizons are short. All I'm asking for you is another 48 hours, right? And if you don't have it now, take a deep breath and watch something funny, okay? Do something silly, give yourself a break. I want everyone to push as hard as they can but this anxiety is not going to be over in 48 hours. Simply one part of the job is gonna be over. So if you are a place with your mental health and your physical health that you just need to like chill out and do you, I give you permission. With that said, we're about to come into the most fun part of the campaign, all right? I'm totally serious. This is when the rubber hits the road. This is when like democracy really happens. This is where I've made lifelong friendships and truly actually helped change the world, okay? Like truly. And finally, I've been able to document some of it. You're gonna see people rise to the occasion. You're gonna see awesome, inspiring things if you look in the right way, okay? Look at my posts. I've got a great post from Kumail and Johnny and Crooked Media and John Lovett positive these last few days. If you've got more money to give, do it. If you've got more energy to give, do it. But basically, if you have it within you, I need you to fight like your life depends on it, right? You can take that as sounding scary or you can flip that on its head and say like, you have the most righteous next 48 hours of your life, right? you want to hold up a sign that says, please vote, you know, naked, I'm not judging you if that works, right? <laughs> I mean, I guess like public decency. You get what I'm saying, okay? Like this is the time where you can go knock on all your neighbor's door, socially distance with a mask and say, hey, do you literally need to ride to the polls? Are you okay? Did you hand in your ballot? What's going on? How are you, right? Anything that you've been scared to express or do, these are your final hours. So just do it. Apologies on November 4th. Thank you very much when we're counting the votes, right? So just enjoy this time. Balls to the wall, as they say, all right? Knowing what's gonna happen when the polls close and that part of our job is enough. Just knowing that is not gonna be enough for some of you, all right? Some people need big picture and then go down to small. Some people need small picture going up to big. So I started small, I started in the next 48 hours, all right? I'm not joking. We got 80, all right? Let's say we win in two days. Let's say we elect Jamal. We're not gonna breathe the sigh of relief that we have every other election, at least of my lifetime, that there'll be a transfer of power that will be peaceful. I know that stress sits on you, but I also know all the amazing, the amazing things that brilliant, smart people are doing that are making sure that that doesn't happen. Like we are in such better hands than the forces that oppose democracy, truly. Like, if somebody wanted to take over the country, a smarter person would have done it. <laughs> like, it's gonna be okay. I don't mean not to be cautious, and, I, and I, 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 I'm so hopeful for nonviolence, and I don't mean to make light if there is any, but I believe that's within our control, okay? We just need to kind of stay in our homes, wear our masks, socially distance, and give love to the world, love, forgiveness, understanding, and no judgment if the person behind you at the grocery store screams at you, I want you to put love right back to that person and go, hey, I get it. I know you're having a bad day because nobody in this country is having a good day for a while, okay? 
You're gonna learn forgiveness. You're gonna focus on that. I am going to distract you for 80 days. How am I gonna do that? First of all, I provide comfort, okay? In the form of comedy, believe it or not. I was recently featured on a celebrity's podcast. Hi, Arnie, Katie, Tana, <laughs> Rob, the amazing. I got to spend three hours with like someone who I want to be my future best friend. I've already made this very clear to her. Um, and we spent three hours talking in depth about The Bachelorette. And I'm not even close to being done with talking about that talk. So if you want trashy, just silly, fun loving, you know, discourse, I'm here, I got you, okay? We can distract ourselves with delicious food. I am a culinary MacGyver. I will make videos, I will make blogs on how you already have, like all the ingredients for the stuff in that you wanna eat. You already have all the ingredients in your house. I can make something out of anything. And friends who have experienced this, please comment below. You know my chocolate pudding is killer. My hush puppies, you have all the ingredients for all those things. We're gonna talk about how to just like, take care of our senses and our mental health right now, right? You're stuck at home. Many of you are stuck at home. Pretty much, I hope you're stuck at home, right? Because you're social distancing and you're on lockdown somewhere in this country or this world, right? How can you make lighting better, make you feel better? How can you set healthy boundaries with your family when they're all up in your business? I have tactics, I have strategies, I have a blog. I'm introducing my blog. I wanted it to be perfect. It's really not, <laughs> but the writing's damn good, I think. But uh, yeah, thriftygreen2020.com. I'll be dropping a weekly blog all throughout these 80 days, 78 days, okay? I got taken care of the next 24, 48 hours, what we need to do. I want you to know that I'm here for you all day Tuesday. I'll be on all my devices. My kid will be not around. Did that sound sketchy? <laughs> He'll be at his late, late part. I will be here for your questions, your comments. You wanna talk to me live? I'm here. But this is what I need from you. I need more subscribers. I need 30 more subscribers on YouTube so I can be on that platform as well. Anyone working on a campaign, I'm so proud of you. You got this. That moment of zen, that moment of zen. There's a zen that we all know comes over us. We've done everything we can. The polls are going to open. And this machine that you built, this beautiful community machine, takes over and you watch it and you watch the numbers come in and you're scared and you're excited and you're hopeful. And that feeling in your stomach, folks, if you haven't felt it before, welcome to what it feels like right before you change the world. I know some of you are gonna say I'm overconfident, but it doesn't matter. We've got 48 hours. Feel confident. Let's do this. I love to you all. I'm here if you need me. Tell me what you need. I've got lots of pictures and videos of you kids. Happy election day. Take care of yourselves. Safety, health, to you all.